NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft holds the remarkable title of being the most distant human-made object in space, currently drifting over 14 billion miles from Earth. This incredible journey began with its launch in 1977, and in 2012, Voyager 1 achieved a significant milestone by successfully crossing into interstellar space. This transition marked a pivotal moment in human exploration, as it meant that the spacecraft had left the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the sun's solar wind, and entered the vast unknown of interstellar space. The achievement is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge about the universe. Imagine the audacity of launching a spacecraft over 45 years ago with technology that was simpler than a modern calculator. Yet, Voyager 1 continues to explore regions beyond our solar system, sending back invaluable data that expands our understanding of the cosmos. Initially, the mission was designed to study the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, but its journey has far exceeded all expectations. What is truly astonishing is that Voyager 1 still manages to send data back to Earth using a 23-watt transmitter, which is weaker than the light from a refrigerator bulb. This data travels at the speed of light, but it still takes over 21 hours to reach us, highlighting the vast distances involved in space exploration. One of the most fascinating aspects of Voyager 1 is its golden record, a time capsule containing sounds and images from Earth. This record carries greetings in 55 languages and features music from various cultures, serving as a message to any potential extraterrestrial life. It showcases the diversity of humanity, including everything from Bach's compositions to the sounds of nature, such as thunder and heartbeats. The Golden Record is not just a collection of sounds, it is a profound statement about who we are as a species and our desire to connect with others, even across the vastness of space. The Voyager missions were made possible by a rare planetary alignment that occurs once every 176 years. This alignment allowed scientists to use a technique called gravity assists, where the spacecraft gained speed by stealing energy from the gravitational pull of planets like Jupiter and Saturn. This clever maneuvering enabled Voyager 1 to reach its destination much faster than it would have otherwise. Without this cosmic shortcut, the journey to Neptune would have taken an astonishing 30 years instead of just 12. The success of this mission has revolutionized our understanding of the gas giants and their moons, revealing a wealth of information that has reshaped planetary science. Voyager 1's discoveries have been nothing short of groundbreaking. For instance, it revealed that Jupiter's moon Io is home to active volcanoes, while Triton, Neptune's moon, has geysers that spew nitrogen gas into space. These findings demonstrated that moons could be as geologically active as planets, challenging previous assumptions about the nature of celestial bodies in our solar system. Voyager 2, its twin, remains the only probe to have visited Uranus and Neptune, uncovering tilted magnetic fields and icy rings that had never been observed before. Recently, Voyager 1 made another fascinating discovery by detecting a faint, constant hum of interstellar gas. This hum provides valuable clues about the density of space beyond the sun's influence. The hum, detected by Voyager's plasma wave instrument, suggests that even what we perceive as empty space vibrates with low-level activity. Scientists have likened this phenomenon to hearing raindrops on a roof during a storm, but in this case, the rain consists of charged particles. This discovery is significant as it helps map the interstellar medium, the material that fills the space between stars, and enhances our understanding of the universe. What makes Voyager 1 even more remarkable is its resilience. The spacecraft's computers have just 69 kilobytes of memory, which is less than a millionth of a smartphone's capacity. Despite this limitation, the probe continues to operate effectively. Its nuclear power source, known as an RTG, radioisotope thermoelectric generator, converts heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. Initially expected to last until 2025, this power source has allowed Voyager 1 to continue its mission, sending back data that enriches our understanding of the cosmos. After 2025, the instruments will eventually go silent, but the spacecraft will continue to drift endlessly through the Milky Way, leaving behind a legacy as a pioneer of interstellar exploration. The Voyager missions have not only reshaped our understanding of planetary science but have also revealed phenomena that were previously unknown. For example, they discovered lightning on Jupiter and hexagonal storms on Saturn, showcasing the dynamic and complex nature of these gas giants. The transition into interstellar space was not a sudden event but rather a gradual shift. 
scientists meticulously tracked changes in cosmic ray levels and plasma density to confirm Voyager 1's exit from the heliosphere. Surprisingly, the magnetic field direction did not change as expected, which has puzzled researchers and suggests that the Sun's influence extends farther than previously thought, blending with interstellar winds. The data collected by Voyager 1 challenges existing models of our solar system's boundary, urging scientists to develop new theories about the nature of our cosmic neighborhood. The voyages face extreme conditions, from intense cosmic radiation to temperatures near absolute zero. Despite these challenges, their antennas remain precisely aimed at Earth, thanks to the use of gyroscopes and thrusters. Commands sent from NASA's Deep Space Network take days to reach the probes, requiring flawless planning and execution. A single software glitch could potentially end the mission, yet the technology from the 1970s continues to function reliably. Beyond the realm of science, the Voyager missions symbolize the essence of human curiosity and the desire to explore the unknown. They carry messages of peace and a map pointing to Earth's location, serving as a reminder of our place in the universe. Despite ongoing debates about the risks of contacting alien civilizations, the journeys of the Voyager probes remind us that exploration is not solely about data collection. It is about pushing boundaries, inspiring future generations, and fostering a sense of wonder about the cosmos. Each signal received from Voyager is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. As Voyager 1 ventures deeper into the cosmos, it encounters interstellar dust and charged particles from ancient supernovae. These particles act as fingerprints of exploded stars, providing scientists with valuable insights into the life cycle of galaxies. The probe's instruments, although outdated by modern standards, continue to capture this data, offering a unique window into the universe. Every bit of information sent back to Earth is a treasure trove for astronomers, contributing to our understanding of the cosmos. The Voyager program's cost was approximately $865 million, which is roughly equivalent to $4 billion today. This investment represents a fraction of the budget for modern space missions, yet the scientific return has been immeasurable, providing textbooks worth of data. The missions have proven that long-duration exploration is not only possible but also essential for advancing our knowledge of the universe. They have also highlighted the importance of redundant systems, as both Voyager spacecraft have backup thrusters that remain functional. One of the challenges faced by the Voyager missions is the weakening signal as the probes move farther from Earth. NASA engineers have developed advanced algorithms to filter out noise, ensuring that valuable data is not lost. The giant antennas of the Deep Space Network act as cosmic hearing aids, amplifying these faint signals. Without this technology, the whispers of the Voyagers would be drowned out by the background static of the universe. The longevity of the Voyager missions can be attributed in part to their minimal moving parts, which reduce wear and tear. The tape recorders used to store data before transmission were cutting edge in the 1970s, and even today, they continue to function flawlessly. This durability underscores the value of simplicity in design, serving as a lesson for modern engineers who strive to create reliable and long-lasting technology. Currently, Voyager 1 is traveling at a speed of about 38,000 miles per hour, which means it would take an astonishing 73,000 years to reach the nearest star. While it won't survive that journey, its path intersects with the Oort Cloud, a shell of icy objects surrounding the solar system. Crossing this region will take approximately 300 years, with the exit occurring in about 30,000 years. This timeline serves as a reminder of the vastness of space and the incredible distances involved in interstellar travel. The golden records carried by the Voyager spacecraft were curated by a team led by the renowned scientist Carl Sagan, who envisioned them as a message in a bottle for the cosmos. The records include 118 images that depict everything from DNA structures to human families, as well as audio recordings of rainforests and city traffic. Notably, they even feature a brainwave recording of a person in love, capturing the raw emotion of humanity. This thoughtful curation reflects our desire to communicate and connect with any potential life forms that may encounter these records in the distant future. If you found this exploration of Voyager 1's journey fascinating, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories from the universe. Thank you for watching.